Yeah, a really wild story, Ben and Sarah. A large black bear has been attempting to break into homes and has successfully done so here in Canton. Deep officials euthanized that animal on Monday after she caused more trouble. But it was a scary situation for one teen who encountered the bear in her kitchen. Just stared at it. It just growled and then I just turned around and ran away. Landon Miner was getting out of the shower last Thursday when she found a non-family member in her Canton home, this large female black bear. The high school junior says it successfully got in the day before through these windows and then came back again, this time through the back door. So this was the first time a bear has ever pried open a door and gotten in and so I guess it must have been really hungry because it ate all the food. The Department of Energy and Environmental Protection says this bear has been a problem in the community for weeks. Deep officials euthanized her Monday after she rummaged through another home nearby. Colonel Chris Lewis says the bear wasn't afraid of people, which is rare. The problem comes when bears become habituated to people. Um, they look to people as a food source. Um, and they get comfortable around them. Four six-month-old cubs were found in a tree nearby. They were tranquilized and relocated, but one did not wake up. We don't know at this point, but anytime you tranquilize any animal, um, there, there's always a risk that it, that it could go bad. The colonel said it could have had an adverse reaction to the drug. He says these are the best practices when they can't leave the bears where they're at and they use specialized equipment for it. They feared the cubs were learning bad behaviors from their mom and are now in a habitat where they can forage for food in nature, away from people. I feel really bad because I feel like it was just hungry. Deep had placed three traps to capture this mom, but was unsuccessful and had even hazed it this past weekend after she got into a shed. It was definitely an issue and it, it didn't hurt me, but it definitely could have hurt someone. Deep advises people to keep trash can lids closed and also properly stored. Keep your grills cleaned and stored as well. And also put away bird feeders. They say if you encounter one on your property, go inside. But if you're in a garage or a shed and it continues to approach you, wave your hands, try and make noises to scare it away. Live in Canton, Tony Black, Fox 61 News.